Ripken has a whole lot of pull around this place. This is his favorite game. Baller Strike is the name of it. Postseason edition, gentlemen. And in my hand, I have a few doozies. Regular season matchups don't matter. I repeat, don't matter. Ball or strike. Yankees have won five of six versus Cleveland. Astros 12 of 19 against the Mariners this year. We know about their dominance at Minute Maid Park. And the Dodgers have won 14 of 19 against the Padres. Ball or strike, Bill? What was the question? Regular what season was? matchups do not matter in the playoffs. Um, wow. It's a tough one, right? That is a uh, tough one. I'm going to say they do not matter. I'm going to say that is a ball. Um, because the familiarity and what one does against another team has some bearing on it. Now, do I think that these teams are not going to no. just show up? No. These good teams will show up and play, but when you have ownership of somebody, it's known. I, I believe it on both sides of the street. Now, that still doesn't mean the team's not going to go in there and put their best foot forward and you eliminate all that, but there's, there's still familiarity, there's still a track record, and yes, it matters. Ooh, I'm gonna say ball as well, and I, I'm gonna say ball. within a division, like the, the Padres Dodgers, for example, there's been ownership for a while there. We, we've tried to make that a rivalry, really not, until San Diego wins a series like this one potentially starting. Yeah. So I, I would say ball. It it matters. You know how you match up. You heard Dave Roberts sound yet. He's like, they're, they're not going to really surprise us with anything that they do. And I'm sure Bob Melvin feels the same way. I, I'm going to go strike. Oh, I don't I don't yeah. think it matters. Right now, this time of year, it depends on when you're playing them. You are out. so playing up to the Mariners beating your Astros. It's no, I, I think the Padres. <laughs> I think the Padres can make a series. I think the Phillies can get a game. I don't think it goes five, but I don't think that the Braves or the Dodgers or the Astros or the Yankees are going to roll through these these teams here. I, I could be I could be way wrong, but um, somebody will get swept. I, I still think the favorites win the series, but um, somebody will get. Well, who's getting swept? Wow, Ooh. I'm bad at the prediction. I, I stayed right I here, stayed maybe. with Toronto. Maybe you catch. Lauren, Lauren, stop stop being so hardcore. On. Yeah, exactly. Let them, let them breathe. On, it's let not them a mind scam, yeah. Scrambler. I just right? don't want to take those chances. Okay. They're unnecessary risks. Yeah, risk There's reward. people, the industry's watching. Okay, okay. <laughs> Phillies have the best remaining one-two punch in the game Ooh. with Wheeler and Nola. Remember, Fromber Verlander, Cole yeah. Cortez or Seve, Bieber McKenzie, Arias Kershaw, Darvish Musgrove. Whoa. Man. Whoa. That's a really good ball call. for me. Hey, it's a ball for me too. All right, wait, but I need to know who you're playing. Framber Verlander. Verlander's been the best pitcher in the American League the entire year. At 39 years old, coming off Tommy John, and I could argue Framber Valdez has been right there with him. It's 26 consecutive quality starts. They've both pitched in the biggest games that our sport has to offer. It, 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 I would feel now Fromber uh, I'd feel good with Nolan Wheeler with a little bit of an illness. Right? So you yeah. might see that is. Uh, you might see McCullers game two oh. and then Van Valdez. No, no, I'm just I'm just saying. I'm oh just, darn. <laughs> not not anything pertaining to this question, just adding further context. Because you're blown away with Fromber's the size of his head and his jawline. In terms of ERA, they they would be second. Arias Kershaw would be first. Well then there you have it. It's a ball. Anytime you're giving me the option of the field. He always takes the field. Right, because it, no, it's, it's not that tough, though. Okay. Now, do I think that Wheeler and Nola are capable of proving us all wrong up here? Because all of us threw ball out there real yeah. quick. Um, if they go out there and blank the Bravos, by all means. But I'm just taking the field. They, there's too many good pitchers Nola that are so still in this. Weekend. He was Nola good. was great against Houston. Yes, last he was. Start. Excellent. And then Eflin closed it out. It was you know, kind of I like used a to, friendship. Mm -hmm. I say this. It all came full circle. Coming up with the with the with the Atlanta Braves, I never felt like Turner Field was a home field advantage. That is no offense to the Braves fans. It just didn't feel that way. Now the truest with the battery. Lee. And the lights lit. out. They're lit. And everyone getting paid. <laughs> everyone except for Dan. Philly's Philly's got their work. Oh. Well, Dansby Dansby's playing it smart. Okay. Every day he waits is another two, three mil. Exactly. <laughs> what about you, Robert? You too? Every day you wait, a couple million yeah. in your mm -hmm. pocket. Hey, this is for you. Seeing Justin Verlander a seventh time Ugh. is miserable. <laughs> is an advantage for Seattle. I, Verlander's I, I, five and one at two, three, four, six starts against the Look, I, I'm, 
I'm going to defer to these guys. I mean, I've, I've never been in the box against a pitcher. I would have to. I, I would think it, it has to be an advantage, right, right, Bill? I mean, the more you see a guy. Yes, but it's also like you're standing on train tracks and the train's coming. That's true. If you too. don't decide to step off, you're going to get run over. Yeah. Um, when, when he's right, it, it sometimes it doesn't matter. You, it, yeah. you hope that you can be in the batter's box. You can pick out a pitch. Um, a pattern from yesteryear, another time you faced him and he makes a mistake in that count, you're looking for one of the pitches. Mm -hmm. Because if he's right, you're going to wear it. I mean, his numbers are not lying to us. His numbers on the year. Yeah. He says, I'm on the mound, I'm going to shove. And just because you're familiar with it, just might you might know the outcome before it happens. You might wear it. Period. I, I, yeah, I, I'm kind of echoing those sentiments. I would say strike, though, right? You know the shape of everything his breaking stuff does. He's either going to have it or he's not. You saw it with Max Scherzer, right? Max Scherzer and Bassett didn't have it. Mets go home. Mm -hmm. Darvish and Musgrove had it. They advance. It's, it, it'll, the starting pitching, that's why everyone's like, oh, it doesn't matter as much anymore. Yes, it, it does. does. Yeah, it does. Yes, it does. It sets the tone for the entire thing. It allows the, the manager to be able to look at what Buck had to do with his bullpen. Yeah. The Astros bullpen through the stuff. fewest amount of innings throughout the year. That matters. It's because the starting pitching yeah. is so good. It's, it's, it's not rocket science. Yeah. And but I faced Verlander in Comerica on a day game. I'll never forget it. And he threw the first pitch to me, and I was like, geez. <laughs> I saw the Phillies let me, reaction. Let me adjust my boots. <laughs> I'm punching <laughs> out. That's, that's, that's happening right here. I saw the Phillies face cool. him. It was the day after they clinched, so I'm sure they had some partying. It, they were laughing. At how ridiculous. We'll see though. It was. Yeah. Seattle's, Seattle's that scary, scary. Hey, stuff. a three man rotation is the way to go for the Yankees. And Robert has talked uh, at length about the schedule for the DS, right? There's two days right. off in the DS and one in the yeah. CS where there used to be two. Is this how you would line it up? One, two, three. Jameson Tyon has been great. Bill, so when you look at this, what stands out? Well, I, I do think when you have the off days that is, is put into this year's playoff format, yeah, the three-man rotation makes sense. Um, you know, with the back end of the bullpen issues that the Yankees are facing, Beehaw! I mean, you got Severino, Tyon, or Herman that are options to be shifted in there. And we saw that the Nationals won the World Series, and they had three starting pitchers, but they had one relief starting pitcher that worked a lot out of the bullpen in Corbin. So I, I'm looking at the Yankees situation right now. This could be just what the doctor ordered when you're talking about the New York Yankees in their playoff run to have those off days to be able to set something up. If, if Severino throws like he did in yeah. his last start, I mean, that that's a scary, scary top three. down on Severino right now. After that's really why. Down on him. Tweeting us like about time we oh, jumped on board. Yeah. We've been on board. I, know. I didn't see that. <laughs> Well, it was it was one, going, of days, yeah. it was one of the days you weren't. So there. that's a whole nother yeah, ball strike right there. I'm just taking you inside. That's all right. I will go strike just for this series, though. I agree with that. I don't think you know. You get to the ALCS, you're going to need tie on to make some yeah. starters. Mm -hmm. How about rally superstitions? You into ball? Yeah, that's a ball. Ball. Wait, really? Because yeah. the Mariners. If you're going to put a shoe on your head. It will work. Ball. Ball. Think it will work. Scoring, oh, it right? works. They the were shoe down, on the head. They were downing works. one. Save it. The okay, rally I monkey. Will. The rally monkey with the angels was. I loved it. Yeah, but where are the angels? Look at this. Look at nice. it. They won the whole that thing. Was in when that thing came up. Oh really? Was Tron dancing. Is that around, what we're doing? Like we're losing. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Yeah, That's going, amazing. We're going back in time to give you. Look at that example. thing. That is so hilarious. Spot of makes me think of the hangover. Roll your eyes up. Coming at you like a spider monkey. You put a shoe. Talladega Nights. Yeah. You put a shoe on your yes, head. It did. works. Well, then it did. It was Threw a bunch one, of grandpa's medals off the bridge. And now they're here, and now they're in Houston. <laughs>